So what do we got here? We got a X to the third positive leading coefficient. We know what this looks like, right? It looks like ooh, something like that, but with lots of high hills and valleys probably. Okay, and this is what? Upside down parabola. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, I probably do need to be a little bit more accurate on this one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what I would do. Um, if you wanted to be a, a really a little bit more accurate on this, you might find your points of intersection first. That's going to kind of give you an idea on how to draw your thing. All right, so it really doesn't make any difference. Let's go ahead and find those points of intersection first. Might help us a little bit with our sketch. Okay, so 3x to the third minus x squared minus 10x is equal to a negative x squared plus a 2x. All right. Looks like my negative x squareds are going to fall out. And then I need to subtract 2x from both sides. So I'll have a 3x squared. No, I won't have a 3x squared. I'll have a 3x to the third. And then a minus 12x. Don't let me screw up the algebra. OK, take out a 3x. Then I'll have an x squared minus a uh, 4. OK, so the 3x out here gives me what? x equals 0. And this gives me how many answers? 2. x equals plus or minus 2. All right, so that's going to help a little bit then. So that means I'm going to have an intersection point at 0. I'm going to have an intersection point at negative 2. But if I've got a, 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 a cubic, it's going to be down here somewhere, OK? And then my cubic going up that way, then I'm going to have one, oh, I don't know. Depending on it may be here, it may not be here. I could find my zeros and know precisely, OK? All right, so let's do this. Let's do, how's that for my? 3x to the third minus x squared minus 10x curve. Okay. This one over here, let's see. So zero and two. All right, that's what I was wanting. Okay, so my roots there are going to be that zero and that two right there. All right, so that means my upside down parabola has got to do this. Okay, that's the saddest, most pathetic looking upside down parabola I've drawn, but y equals negative x squared plus 2x. Are we good there? Plus or minus 2. I probably didn't do that very good. I didn't make that go through the right thing down there. Okay. All right. So we got a shaded region here. We got a shaded region here. Let's just look at the diagram for a little bit here. Okay, so in this section right here, my cubic equation is on top, my parabola is on the bottom. But on this one over here, the parabola is on top and the cubic's on the bottom. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, all right, so let's set up an integral. Again, we're not gonna work out the integral, but let's set up the integral. All right, so let's run the integral from negative 2 to 0 for our first one. OK, we said the top curve is the cubic. So 3x to the third minus x squared minus 10x. And then we're going to subtract the negative x squared plus 2x. And then technically, it'd probably be a good idea to put those square brackets in, okay? And then we've got to add to that, this other area over here. What, we're gonna run it from zero to two? Zero to two? I put that dot in the wrong spot, but that's okay. All right, and then top curve, negative x squared plus two x minus the bottom curve, three x to the third minus x squared minus 10 x with our little dx, and then with your 
square brackets. Can you see how these are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? Yeah. So again, I don't want to take class time to work that out. All right, because I think you can do the math. You're going to combine like terms, get down to a nice little polynomial. You're going to do that. You're going to work it out. You're going to have two answers. You're going to add them up. Again, if I did this right, I think you're going to get down to a 24, I think. All right. 